Okay, you guys, so we're going to use Cloudflare with a cPanel domain. And we're going to be careful so that we don't mess up our email. Okay, so I've got my domain over here on cPanel. Um, and I've already got my name server set. Uh, and so now we're ready to put it on Cloudflare. Now, one important point, the first step, you must first have all of your DNS records fully propagated and set up on your cPanel account such that um, you can see your website, right? And it's working fine. It's maybe just not quite as fast as I'd like. So we're gonna use this one. Um, so the first thing we do so you can select a plan. We'll come down to the free plan. So now it's scanning your DNS records. You can see why you have to do that step first. Um, meaning that you need to have done that step uh, with your DNS records and getting it set up and propagated on cPanel before you add it to Cloudflare. Okay, so now we can see, whoa, whoa, there's all sorts of records here and we must change some of them. Okay, we're going to need to change some of them. Um, the first thing is webmail. We must change that. Okay, to DNS only. See how it's jumping over uh, the cloud, Cloudflare proxy. Okay, and actually, there are quite a few of these. We're going to do that. Now, this one, this is the main one. We want to keep this. Okay. Ah, oh, now this. Um, we definitely need to put that to DNS only. Now here, www.SpanishFrequencyDictionary. Yeah, we want to get the benefits with that one. Um, so that we have our images, our JavaScript, our CSS proxy. Now these ones down here, this MX record, all of these, they're already set to DNS only. So that's okay. Our email is still going to work. All right. So now let's click continue. Now, we need to remove our old name servers and put in the new ones. So for NS1, I'll use this one. Okay. Okay, so that is basically all you need to do.